where we are recording now. Okay, so just we're just going to go through these notes very quickly, and there's two pages of uh, there's two lessons we want to go through. This first bit is just to, it goes through what bridge is, right? So bridge is a game, a card game, consists of 52 cards. There are four suits in each deck: spades, hearts, diamonds, and clubs. The majors are hearts and spades. The minors are clubs and diamonds. The rank of the suits. Ace, King, Queen, Jack, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. The honours are Ace, King, Queen, Jack and 10. Bridge is a partnership game played. What's that noise in the background, lads? Can you mute your microphone? That's, that's Tim, a dog Tim. barking. Tim, will you mute it's, your microphone, please? It's not my dog. It's my dog. Sorry, well, sorry. Whoever's dog it is. Mute. Yeah. Thanks very much. So bridge is, a clock, bridge is a clockwise game. The cards go in a clockwise direction, starting with whoever plays it first moving around the table. Bridge is also a duplicate game. When we play bridge in competition, we duplicate the board. Bridge is a trick-taking game. A trick consists of four cards, one from each player. Players must follow suit. Bridge is a counting game. Because if we count, we count how many cards we have in the suit, we can evaluate the hand. So if we just look at this first example, we can see the bidding. And if we look at the south, the north hand, who's the first person to bid, how many points do they have? Ten. 10 is correct, Tim. How many points does East have? Ten. And what do you notice about North and East in the bidding when we look down here? What did North do? Passed. So 10 isn't enough to open the bidding generally. What did East do? And then passed again. So 10 isn't enough to open the bidding. Now look at the south hand. How many points does the south hand have? 14. So what does south open? Uh, one club because they have the queen and the ace. No. How many clubs have they? But good answer. Five. And how many hearts have they? Four. So which is their longest suit? The clubs. So if you were left in it, what would you want to be left in? Your, your short suit or your long suit? Your long suit. Okay, so to open the bidding, we need to have 12 or more points. 12 or more high card points are enough points with which to open the bidding. And the high card points are aces, kings, queens and jacks. Now what value do we give for the high card points? Four, three, two, and one down from the eight. Very good. And that we also should give, when we're thinking about opening the bidding, we should also give consideration for having long suits. Now, a long suit is considered five cards or longer. How many clubs do we have? Five. So we should give ourselves an extra point for having a long, for a fifth club. So the value of the south hand is made up of 14 high card points plus one extra point for having a fifth club, which means the total value of the hand is 15. Now 15 is well worth opening the bidding. Now what, do, what does the west hand bid? Pass. Because they don't have any good points. Look what's happening. This is an auction. And we're going to be introducing you to the auction tonight. We're not going to be making you do it because we'll always have, we'll have me or John will be there to help you to do it if we're not sure. But we're just introducing you to the idea of the auction. And next week we're going to start getting you to bid some hands, uh, having had a lesson on, on an auction. So we're just introducing the idea. And if we look about it, they've got four hearts in the north hand, don't they? Mm -hmm. And how many hearts have they got in the south hand? Four as well. Well, four and four is... Eight. Eight is what you need to have a trump suit. 
eight or more between the two hands means they can nominate a Trump suit. And that's what they've done, isn't it? Mm-hmm. They've nominated a Trump suit. Now, what contract did they get to? What's it down here? Two hearts. So how many tricks do they have to make if they be, if two hearts is the contract? Eight. Very good. Okay, so the contract is two hearts. Who's playing it? North or south? South. No. Who no. bid hearts first? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. It's always who bids to the... Now, the interesting thing about the computer is it won't let you play it if it's not yours to play. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so um, just to go back there, um, I thought um, the first bid was clubs. It was, but what did North bid after clubs? So you can you can change. Well, you should change if you don't like to suit your partner's bid. You should right. always change, and you should always try to find another suit. So if we look at the North hand, North's best suit, longest suit was what? Clubs. clubs. That's why they started off. South. Sorry. What did North bid in response? Okay, yeah. I'm and then you. what did South yeah. do over when they bid the heart? They raised them, they supported them. Okay. So they found out that they had a fit, and that's where they played. Okay, okay. now we're, yeah. I'm only want to introduce you to the idea. Don't worry about this for a second. So a hand is often described by its distribution, the number of card held in each suit. Did I do the balanced or unbalanced witches yet? No. No. So every hand must either be balanced or unbalanced. Now, what is the shape of the north hand? How many spades do you have? North. How many hearts do you have? Four. How many diamonds do you have? Three. And how many clubs do you have? Two. So we call that the shape from the top suit spades to the bottom suit clubs, four, four, three, two. East, mm-hmm. what is your distribution? Oh, that's me, sorry. Four spades, three hearts, uh, two clubs, and five, four diamonds. Okay. West, what, uh, south, what is your distribution? Now, this is, this is not on this hand, by the way. You're dealing the distribution on, your, on, the, on the bridge base. Yeah. South, what is your distribution? South has disappeared. On bridge base. Okay, we won't worry about it. So it's, um, it's after logging me out. Okay, it's don't okay. worry about it. Don't worry about it. We look at the hand on the zoom, Tim. What's the distribution of the hand on the zoom? Can you see it? Yeah. How many spades have you? One, two. No. How many hearts have you? Four. How many diamonds have you? Two. And how many clubs have you? Five. So the distribution is two, four, two, five. And what's West's distribution on the Zoom? Four, three, five, four. No. No. Three, two, five, three. Three spades, two hearts, five diamonds, and three clubs. Oh, yeah, sorry, it's a ten. Okay. So, to, to, to evaluate your hand on whether you're balanced or unbalanced, okay, you need, to, you need to be able to work this out. So, an unbalanced hand will contain a void. Do any of these hands contain a void, which is the absence of any suit? No. Do any of these hands contain a singleton, which is one card and one card alone in a suit? No. No. Do any of these hands contain more than one doubleton? No. Yes. 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 John. What? Are you answering these questions? (laughs) 
<laughs> you're a grandmaster. I like your enthusiasm, <laughs> but you're a grandmaster. I want the I want the I want the people learning to to try to answer. Don't let him carry on. He's doing well. He's doing very well. When when the when the class is over, I'm going to tell him to put a gold star on his name on the fridge. That's how well he's doing. Okay. Have a look at the south hand, everybody. Does does the south hand contain more than one doubled? Yeah. yeah. Where is it? Where are they? Spades Close and diamonds. Down. Spades and diamonds. There's two spades, a doubleton, and two diamonds, a doubleton. Okay, so the south hand is an unbalanced hand, and every other hand there is balanced. So what I want you to get used to doing is announcing how many points you have. If you have less than 12 points, you announce you're going to pass when it's your turn for the moment. And if you have more than 12 points, you think about what you should open the bidding. And we generally open the bidding at the one level. And we're just going to skip hands if they're ludicrously difficult for us. We will just skip hands. Okay, and we're just going to have a little go. Am I balanced? Am I unbalanced? Okay, hand types. So there are only three types of balanced hands. 4333, 4432, or 5332. And there are examples on these. And then look at the unbalanced hands. Well, what, what, what makes the first hand unbalanced in the example? The single. Singleton, yeah, correct. What makes the second hand unbalanced somebody different? There's a void there. There's well no, done, Tim. No spades. Oh, you're yeah. doing great. Uh, on the third hand, Raymond, what makes that hand unbalanced? Yeah. The king. There's king of spades. The singleton king. The singleton. Okay. Now we've done the hand valuation with you. Okay, so bridge is a game of two parts. The auction and the play. At the moment, we're not going to worry about the auction, are we? Because we don't know how to bid. But, we, but, but whoever's teaching us, whoever's at the table, will bid for us, get us to the right contract. And then we play the cards. And playing the cards is fun, isn't it? It's supposed to be. <laughs> All right. The auction is conducted by bidding. The partnership that bids the highest buys the contract and becomes the declaring side. Sometimes only one partnership bids in the auction in order to get to the best contract. The lowest bid you can make is one club and the highest bid you can make is seven no trump. Well, what's seven and six? Thirteen. How many tricks do we have? Thirteen. That's why the seven level is the highest. What's one and six? Seven. seven. So seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, or thirteen are the number of tricks which which you can contract for. Mm -hmm. The side that buys the contract or wins the auction is expected to make more tricks than the other partnership. Therefore, the first six tricks we do not count. We call them the book. That's why the lowest level of bidding is one and the highest level is six. I mean, you could say 7 to 13 if you wanted. It's the same thing. But because six tricks, we get nothing for. We're not in, we, don't, we don't think about the six tricks that we have to make. We think about the one golden trick if we're at the one level. The one of those seven tricks that give us the score. A bid at the one level corresponds to six plus one. A bid at the three level corresponds to six plus three and so on. So contract target. Now, if you don't know what contract, how, you, how to get to the contract, this is a way that we can assess whether we're in the right contract. If we've less than 25 points, we should only bid less than three no trump. So below that, if we have 25 to 32, we should bid at least these contracts. And again, we won't worry about the higher level of points. Okay. So just I have think a quick five no trump wrote written wrong, Thomas. Not a, not if you have thirty two points. No, no, five no trump is written five clubs or five times. No, no but if you have thirty two points, you might end up in five no trump, which is why ah, okay. she has it, okay. missing okay. only two aces. 
And if you're missing, if you're, I know it's very particular, but what these notes, if they put in every possible contract, we're not saying, by the way, that if you have 25 points, you should be in five no Trump. But if you have 32 points, you might be in five no Trump. Okay, and more points. Don't worry about that for a second. We're only going to be interested in less than 25, 25, 26, 27, 28, because that's the most likely. Now, bridge versus other card games. What makes bridge different from whist, solo and hearts is the presence of the dummy. Now, we had to introduce you to the dummy hand straight away because there's no other way to teach you how to play bridge remotely and online without teaching you the dummy hand. As every player except dummy can see 26 of the 52 cards after the opening lead, it is essentially a game of skill in contrast to the large look factors of the other game. So introducing a dummy reduces the look and increases the skill. There's always luck, by the way, as anybody will tell you. So we're not going to do these hands, but you can deal out these hands yourself and have a look at them. You can do the quiz if you want and have a look at them. And if you do the quiz, by the way, I won't correct the answers. That's too much work. Somebody ask. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is stop sharing this screen. And I want to share John's table. What's Crofty's name again? Crofty what? Witcher. Crofty 20. Okay. So now, if we can for a second, all right, we, 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 we have already have the bidding on this hand and we have the lead. So just for the duration of the lesson, what I want to do is just show the contract. The bidding by Katie was one no Trump, East passed, South passed, and west passed so when i close the bidding the bidding goes away and east melissa led the four of spades and we said and what has to happen is katie has to try to take seven tricks and what we'd like to do is i just like katie to play it just play out the cards in whatever order you want but play them quickly and then okay. we'll have a, and then, and then whatever happens, remember, don't play the last trick. Don't play the 13th trick because if Katie goes slightly wrong or doesn't make it or doesn't do well, what we'll do is we will undo back to the start of the hand and we'll have one demonstration of how Katie might have been able to change what she did and how she did it to make her contract. And then I'm going to stop recording and then we'll just be able to be ourselves freely uh, swearing and everything else that we do when the, when the recording isn't on. Okay. Yo. So go ahead, Katie, and if everybody okay. could just uh, for the for the for the next sort of five or ten minutes, we keep the the voices down. Go ahead. You have to play, Ray. Yeah, I'm trying. I think I'm on the wrong screen here. Sorry. You have to switch back to the to the bridge base, Raymond. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Remember, it's only our third week, fifth hour. Well, Melissa's on our tenth, I'd say, at this stage. We don't, <laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> Is there any, like, beginner's tables I can go to? No, not yet, Melissa, but we admire your enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs>